get them all. It has grown with us and nourished within our generation. And as it stands now, I will not let it be taken control of by some power hungry motherfuckers. What is up guys, DRX Disciple here, and today I'm bringing you a fantastic Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. It is a 74 and 13 on the map Dome, using the PP90 in a normal domination. And yes, I am using specialist killstreaks, the same I always do. This was actually a gameplay from earlier in the game, you can see I just panic knifed the hell out of that guy. I was going for mobs, this was when I was like, I don't even know first prestige maybe I'm not sure but i bet you're all wondering right now who is this why is he posting on comboy's channel well i am drx disciple i am comboy's graphics designer as well as friend of convoy and many others i make graphics for my channel as well as other people's channels and i post a sexy gameplays such as this and epic moabs and stuff like that so basically i make uh which we call it graphics as you can say like backgrounds and thumbnails and outros and logos and stuff like that and it's fun. I mean, I started graphics this year, actually, which is pretty surprising because I've already grown a lot. I mean, I've made friends with a ton of well-known commentators, and they've helped me a great deal on the way. Especially Comboy, as you can tell, he's letting me upload to, upload to his channel, which is so cool. So thank you so much for letting me do this because this is a great opportunity for me to expand my horizons as well as grow my channel because right now I am at 220 subs, I think, and I am growing pretty fast. I think I had... 40 subscribers like a month ago so i've grown pretty fast i mean i've pretty much like multiplied my channel but i don't even know how much like five times as much as i was uh i think like a month ago like i said and i actually got a few shout outs from some people no one really big so i haven't grown much but i'm hoping that you guys will go to my channel and subscribe because that would be amazing look at this guy sprays the heck out of me with this dragon of but if you guys would go subscribe like i said that would be fantastic and today, I want to talk to you guys about a few topics. The first is about me. So I'll start it off with the graphics. I started graphics this year, like I said. I have gotten a lot of inspiration from people such as uh, Nyx, who is also known as Stealth Design, and uh, Marco Arts and people like that. I never really decided to do graphics till this year because I had always thought that graphics seemed so hard and the guys who did it were so awesome. And that I would never be able to do that because I'm, I wasn't as creative, creative as them. And I didn't feel that I would be able to do it. And look at this, kill from behind. But, like, as I've gone through graphics, I've become more creative with what I do. And it's helped me throughout my life. I've become more creative at, say, things like school. Like, I make fun ways to study and stuff like that. I can think of, like, cool things to put on backgrounds and my graphics and stuff like that. So it's creative. Like, I use things from YouTube, which has helped me so much in real life as well as on YouTube. Because on YouTube, I'm trying to get big, which is a difficult thing. And... Posting on channels like this is probably the best way nowadays to get noticed because it's not like if you're a commentator three years ago, you're one of like five, so you are bound to get noticed. Nowadays, it's basically everyone thinks they can do it. Everyone's like, oh, well, I can get gameplay. I can be a commentator. And most of them are about 13-year-old little kids who are just like, okay, I'm going to go get some gameplay, which is like a 10 and 4 TDM, and try to be cool. That gameplay sucks, and you're bad. Not to be a jerk, but you're bad. Because like kids like that, I was that kid. My old channel... I think I started last year. My voice was so freaking high pitched. Like last year, I watched my commentaries the other day. I was like, I wonder what I sounded like. I never really watched them before. Watching them over, I was like, Am I playing this in fast forward? My voice is so high. I can't even tell what's happening. And my commentaries were so bad. They were so bland. Every single commentary was like, Yeah. It was more like, Yeah, guys, today, bringing you some Black Ops gameplay. Um, on the map. Um, it's like, Come on. That was me. I've grown so much. So, I mean, I feel that being a YouTube commentator, if you're under the age of 16, is a difficult thing to do. But for those people who actually stick with it, I mean, you're cool. I feel for you. I was where you are. It's a tough thing to do. But, I mean, if you stick your mind to it and you keep doing it for, like, a year or two, I think you'll be starting to get better at what you do. Your commentaries will be better. People will notice you more. My old channel, I had about 200 subscribers. They were all pretty inactive, so I didn't really get as many views as I want. But this like YouTube channel that I have now, I have gotten so much feedback. I get so I get at least 10 to 15 likes a video, and I get about 150 views a video, which is like almost all my subscribers are active, which is really awesome. So if you guys once again want to go subscribe to me, that would be amazing because you could just become part of like my army, I guess. 
my army of faithful fans who watch all my videos, which is such a great help to me because it helps me grow on YouTube, gets me one step closer to a machinima partnership, which is my goal, which, I mean, as of now, it's kind of far, like far-fetched, I guess you could say, because I only have 200 subscribers, but if this, basically this video helps me out and I get some more shoutouts, it could greatly impact my life. I want to be a commentator on Machinima, not Yaush or any of those things because I feel on Machinima it's more professional. You may not get paid as much as other ones because they have so many directors, except the thing is Machinima is so respected in the gaming community. That's where I want to be. I want to be where Comboy is and just be respected because I'm on Machinima. If you're on Yaush, I mean you get respect, but everybody hates. Everybody has those little Yaush jokes like with their like 50 viewers like ja Xja said that. Like, Yaush, I feel like it's not as respected as Machinima. Machinima is so, like, prestigious for gaming. It is, like, probably the highest quality... Look, just wrecked by a grenade. Probably the highest quality gaming partnership company out there. Which is why I want to become part of that. Because I want to be partnered. And I don't want to just be partnered and stay where I'm at. Like, going up, like, 10, 15 subs a day. I want to be partnered and grow exponentially. I want to become part of Machinima. And we have to grow so large, I can be, like, Convoy. And even larger people. Like, I'm friends with Green Goblin, Sarcasm... Uh, Thunder Toro, people like that, people whose channels are established and they've had them for years now, and it's so, like, that is so awesome. I've had this channel, I've been active for two months. I've had the channel for four months, I didn't do anything the first two months because I was in school, and I didn't really find motivation to upload. As I began uploading, I have an HD PVR, so I was getting good quality content, good gameplays, and I was uploading, and I was actually getting a response. That gave me the motivation to keep uploading, and that's so key in the YouTube community. I feel as that motivation from comments and likes and subscribers keeps me going. I don't just go because I like posting. I mean, I personally, I love posting videos, but if I wasn't getting a response on my videos, I wouldn't want to post. That's like posting to 15 people and getting no response every video. That's just kind of like throwing it out there for nobody to see, which kind of is frustrating. But you know what? It'll happen to a lot of us. That's how we all start out. So this is pretty awesome again that I'm getting to upload to this large channel because 28, actually I think he's close to 29,000 subscribers now. That is so massive. He's where I want to be and look at this. One double kill right there a little couple seconds ago. Another double kill and then I'll go up back up in a second to get the third double kill. These kids were like, you know what, let's just keep running in. I think we won't die if we just keep running in, guys. But they're pretty stupid. See, you can see that kid was like level 20. This I got this gameplay so long ago. I wasn't at my house, I wasn't on my TV, probably could have been 100 plus if I was. I was just running in, spraying and praying. I couldn't see the radar because it was on an SD TV with crappy quality and I was sitting too far away. So I was just kind of like, you know what, let's run and gun and see what happens. I had never gotten a mode before this game, so I was too also playing defensive at the beginning, which slowed my gameplay down a decent amount. But at this point you can see I'm just running around, going ham, seeing what I can do. But yeah, so another thing about me that you guys may not know is, I play Minecraft a lot. I post a lot of Minecraft to my channel, and I love to stream. I stream, look at this kid, Final Stand just destroys the crap out of me with the CM901. But I stream Minecraft Call of Duty. When I stream Call of Duty, I go for gameplays and mobs and stuff like that. Like the typical Call of Duty commentator, I go for mobs and high-killing gameplays. I am a slayer, I'm, I play defensive, like I actually have a defensive gameplay saved in my vault. Where I was playing normal kill confirmed and captured at least 50 tags out of our 65. Which was pretty funny because like my whole team was going complete Slayer and I was just like... I was going Slayer too but I captured every single tag pretty much. Like when we were at 15 kills or 15 tags capped, I had 14 of those tags capped. I can be defensive but I choose not to often time because I go for the high killing gameplays. Which I know can be frowned upon by a lot of people but you know what, what are you going to do? So yeah... So like I said, I stream Minecraft, I don't stream normal Minecraft, I scream, scream, I stream this thing called Tech It, which is basically Minecraft with machines, to break it down for those of you who don't know what it is. It's basically, there's things like bat boxes where you can charge batteries, you can use solar panels and windmills to generate electricity to power things like jetpacks and stuff like that. You can make awesome things such as ender chests, which are like really cool chests, and like all these awesome chests that you can put cool stuff in. There's chests that you can see what's inside. You can make um, quarries, which basically mine for you, for those of you <clears throat> who are new to Minecraft or don't know what it is, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows what Minecraft is, considering the giant following that it has. And if you guys can tell, I was killed by the kid with the dragon off multiple times this game. But yeah, so I stream Minecraft quite often. I'm actually going to be streaming, well, this Thursday, which is you guys will have missed it. But it's going to be a fun stream. I stream often. I get about 10 to 20 people per stream. And it's fun. It's an average about 20, I would say, because every stream I keep about 20 people. 
and go up about 25 subscribers each stream, which is also a very great way to grow on YouTube, is to stream. I would never have thought to do it before because I used to watch streams, <clears throat> but I thought to myself, hey, you know what, I can't do this, I've never streamed before, I don't know if I'll get a, any viewers. You will get viewers if you stream and you have good stuff. Look at this, IMS almost kills me and get drop shot, it's done. But yeah, so if you stream, it gets, gets you noticed, you make friends, and also do graphics if you can. It gets you noticed in the community, that's how I got noticed. That's why I made friends with Comboy and other large YouTubers. So this was DRX Disciple, guys. This gameplay is coming to an end. If you want to see more of things like this, go subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And I want to thank you all for watching, and thank Andrew for letting me post to his channel. So thanks again, guys, for watching, and this was DRX Disciple. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, and if you could, go subscribe to me. That'd be amazing. So, once again, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.